Welcome to Two Woke Boys, episode 148. I am Chris. And I'm Cole. And together, we are Two Woke, woke boys. boys. Several explosions for uh, the, the last episode of May, right? Yes. And uh, it's Memorial Day, right? Memor- we are, we yes. are recording on... Memorial Day, and look, it's it's important to celebrate like the troops. I guess you know we kind of well, have to. Well, it's it's important to remember the courage and sacrifice of the brave men mm-hmm. who laid down their lives in battle, mm-hmm. fighting against the United States yeah. in war. Well, there is that. There's those people, right? Because like, yeah, like we support those people also because right. like america's we hate bad america. america's, yeah, america's the worst bad country. Yeah, yeah it's the worst country right you know but we also but it depends on what we're doing right like yeah. well what would be a context in which we would be like well, pro-america we love ukraine okay but that's a different country yeah but like we're one okay we just gotta go over there well and, okay you know what i mean yeah well i'll say like but that's the only that's the only reason it's good because they're like we need help and we're like we'll help you because we suck, right? You know, and then we'll go over there and do whatever they want. Yeah. Well, we hate even Amer- though we just found out that was a country like eight months ago, right? You know. Well, we hate America a little less when there's a Democrat in office, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because it's the best because country. Biden is president, like. We don't hate America as much mm-hmm. as we did when the Cheeto was in office. Yeah, like remember, like when, remember when we elected Obama twice, yes. and then er- racism was gone yes. and didn't exist. Yes. and then the most racist the Cheeto brought thing it back. ever yeah. happened, and we elected a, a white dork president. Yeah, an orange president. Yeah, an orange person. Yeah, <laughs> that's unfortunate that that happened. Yeah, but so I guess with Memorial Day, here's what people do. It's time to take one day to celebrate the military that protects our country from, you know, foreign disaster or whatever. But then right after that one day, we have to celebrate gay shit for an entire month. How Mm. sweet is that? I like that. We're, We're going right into Pride Month. Yeah. Memorial Day, Pride Month. Right. How cool is that? Right. Yeah, it, it is nice that mm. Pride is 30 times the length of Memorial Day. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, well, here's, okay, so here's another context. Where also, we no would, homo. Yeah, I, I mean, that goes yeah. without saying. Yeah. We're so but straight. It, it goes without saying, but we're but saying But we're still going to say it. Definitely saying it. Yeah. 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 We say we, the quiet part out loud yeah. on this podcast. Yeah. That's and that exactly. quiet part is we are straight as We're fuck. We're not bitch. gay, damn yeah. it. And we yeah. will prove it to you yeah. on the show, on camera. On this table. That's right. And then the other guys are going to have to leave because that's kind of that gay. That would be gay to, to watch. To watch us yeah. fuck a lady yeah, that's that we're not proving that we're not gay. Because, right. like, what if, what if I'm fucking a lady that I'm proving I'm not gay uh-huh. and I look up and I see, I make eye contact with you while I'm fucking that lady? Yeah, that, that's not gay. gay. Yeah. Uh, once again, whatever, like, Podcast is over. Right. That's another ending podcast ending situation. Yeah. Like I never would want to see you again. No, we that. would have to go our separate yeah. ways. Unless never... we're taking her on a trip to Paris, then yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's fine. different. No, yeah. that's totally fine. Because we're connected with this woman. Right. right. That's not gay. Right. She's like like you know how like uh like if you like if uh you have someone over and you're like the girl's like, I don't want anything to happen, you're like, I'm gonna put this pillow for it in between us, and nothing's gonna I'm gonna build a wall. I've never done that. You know? That sounds. You say it. That but I mean, fun. Yeah, yeah, you could do that. You're like, yeah. we'll build a wall with yeah, this that's pillow. An interesting port. idea, Chris. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then you know, you're like, let's tear down these walls. <laughs> and <Nice>. yeah, so <laughs> yeah. yeah, but with their consent. Yeah, with their consent, yeah. of course. But okay, maybe that's not a scenario that would work in any setting or whatever. But. You build a pillow. I may, I may try it. I yeah, may yeah, try yeah. it. Yeah. You could, yeah. You know, she's like, I don't want anything to happen. It's like, we're just laying in my bed together. What What could possibly happen in here? Right. There's a pillow in between us. Right. 
you know? Right. An That's impenetrable not wall. No one's going to move that pillow. No. Unless we both decide to throw that pillow out of the way in a passionate and then just connect connect right with, in, with unity right because you know? like the w walls are tearing us apart yeah you know so you symbolically throw the pillow out of the way and then go if, if she wants that yeah yeah, yeah. but yeah. anyway if we're eiffel towering a woman she is the pillow right and we're not throwing her out of the way no that's <laughs> jesus christ yeah, are you yeah. kidding me? hell no yeah. no way she dude. is standing locked yeah. into the the mm -hmm. earth and we kind of would like another woman there to just to you know, to build the sure. wall yeah. up. You know? Right. And, and like kind of the ratio would be better. Yeah. If it was more. If women. we had one each. Yeah. Yeah. And there was no like. Or more than one. Yeah. Each. We need more women than dudes. Preferably. For it to be not gay. Yeah. So that's just how we would operate with that stuff. But totally. And and I, I was gonna say before, I thought of another context that like supporting the military is okay. Okay. Like do you ever hear when Biden or other Democratic leaders say like like we support the LGBTQ community and including those who who fight in the military, mm -hmm. right? The yeah, brave yeah. and like remember when Trump was trying to like kick trans people out of the military. And then the left was saying like, like, no, these, these people like signed up to, they volunteered to serve our country and they are brave. They're, they're our best people. And they're just cause they're trans doesn't mean they should be kicked out of the military. And then, so you had all mm -hmm. these like leftists so, supporting these trans military, yeah. but normally with the military, it's like, fuck all the military. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah. imperialist, colonialist. Yeah. We're the real America's the real terrorists. Yeah. We suck. But when it comes to LGBTQ military, then it's like, mm -hmm. oh, now we support those military. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. It's like we should get out of Syria unless we send a group of trans people into that country. Then yes. it's like, hey, maybe they need that over there. Right. Right. You know? Yeah. So yeah, that's that's a good that that's hard. Yeah. To it's that's what's tough about now. It's it's hard to make your political point you have to kind of see what's going on before right. you jump in. Right. Some would say that we don't really have any principles and that we're just kind of like waiting waving in the, the wind yeah. like a wacky waving inflatable yeah. arm flailing tube man. Yeah. Uh, according to what is yeah, like our a, opinions are just right. Like, oh, we should go this way. Like, right. We're gonna lean that. Right. Okay. The military like, sucks. Military oh, sucks. Yeah, we yeah. have, we are the real terrorists, yeah. but they're trying to kick trans people oh, out of the military. God. Now we've leaned so the we other love, way now. We, yeah, yeah. we love the military. Oh yeah. 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 Back the, yeah. Oh, oh, but, uh, oh, the police are bad. They right, killed right, that guy. Bad. Oh my God. Right. They kneeled on a black guy's neck. That was oh, wait, fucked up. They, but oh, the January Capitol Police, 6th. yeah, who, oh, saved, my God. who saved the, yeah. the fabric back of this the country. Blue. A step on blue, that, that bullheaded guy. Yeah, That's right. That guy that shit on Nancy Kill Pelosi's that bitch desk. Who tried to sneak into the yeah. Capitol. Shoot her in the fucking throat. Yeah. But... Cops are bad. Yeah, cops are bad. A cab. All, all uh, cops suck. Yeah, we need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, the wind, the, the wind winds, blows. The winds of swirling. change yeah. are constant. It's a tornado of opinions, right? And it's hard, but that's why you listen to this podcast because you're an idiot and you don't know which way the wind's blowing. And we are like, you know how like you golf and you go, yeah, I know which way the wind's blowing right, right before I hit laser this shot down the fairway. Right, that's what this podcast is. That's you going, I know what's up. Yeah. I know what's about to happen. Right. Yeah. Right. So, or or you, you like pull some grass and you just like let it, you fucking salt bay the grass. Right, right. And to then see you let, which way the yeah, wind you just blows go, it. Yeah. And then you salt bay the grass and then the grass kind of blows. Right. The way and you're like, okay, I know which way I'm going to launch this. That's right. So yeah, if you, if you are ever confused about what opinion is acceptable for you to have, you have to listen to this podcast or send us an email or DM yeah. that we will read on the show and yeah. then we'll answer your question because it's important not to take any opinion mm -hmm. or be public with it yeah. until you have the stamp of approval from the two woke boys. Yeah, 100%. And it's like uh like your opinion like you shouldn't think critically for yourself. That's that's No. Don't do that no. at all. That's what we're here for. We're right. here to tell you your opinions. Right. And, uh, you know, most people's opinions now, when a thing happens, we're all like waiting outside of it. Like it's like a double Dutch jump rope situation. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. 
with like, a lot of black queens. Yeah, we're, jumping we're yeah, in there. we're like a couple of black teen girls that are about to like, you know, they're like rhyming shit. There's like two fat black girls like doing the ropes <laughs> and they're just like you know, they're like saying whatever the rhymes are, like right. you do your jumps or I don't know the thing, yeah, you know, yeah. whatever. But uh, you know, they're they're swinging it and right. you're like doing this thing, you're like, yeah, I'm about to go in shit. And right. then you're going to go in there and that's that's the opinion, right? Yeah. But you got to wait. You got to wait for the right opportunity. Right. You know? Yeah. So. Yeah. So email us if you don't know what opinion to have on a given matter because you're dumb and we're smart and you can't mm. think for yourself, but we can. And you especially can't think for yourself if you are a woman or person of color. Yeah. That's why we have this podcast. Mm -hmm. It's to be your voice and not just yeah. your voice, but your mind. Yeah. Your voice, you are your too mind. Dumb. And your that's body what will we be love. Your body. Yeah, we love. Yeah, total for yeah, women. That yeah. is. Yeah, we'll tell you what to do with right. your body. As and well. we love women and people of color so much. That's why we started this podcast because those groups are too stupid mm -hmm. to yeah. have their own. Yeah, they, they don't know. So what, they need yeah. us to speak and think for them. Yeah, because, they don't have leadership in their no. roles because it just it's unfortunate. Right. Like, Women get in control, and then they're like, one of them's like complaining about each other's outfits, or right. like, you know, I mean, like, have you ever like you go like a girl's like, you tell her like, hey, where do you want to eat, and then she like just has a fucking aneurysm. yeah. Why don't you pick something? And then she okay, has a, yeah. how about how about Mexican? Uh, oh, we just I don't want to eat I, there. I had actually. Mexican yesterday. Yeah. Well, then have <laughs> have the same thing two days in a row, bitch. What's gonna happen if you have Mexican two days in a row? Yeah. What's gonna happen? Yeah, bitch. I ate a turkey sandwich for lunch for three years straight. You, yeah, you can't have the same genre of food two days in a row. And sometimes it's not even back to back days. It's like, yeah. oh, oh, we I went had there sushi. three weeks ago. Yeah, I had sushi two weeks ago. Well, fucking go there again, you stupid ungrateful bitch. You will go where I say. Don't ever fucking ask me for directions if you're gonna disagree with the answer. Then maybe have an idea of your own when I ask you where you want to eat. How about that? Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know where I want to eat. Why don't you pick Cole? Why don't you pick? Okay. How about it? How, how, how about, about Italian? How about, how about? Oh, we just had Italian two months ago. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah. Why does it matter how soon? I have Chipotle about five times a week. Yeah. I can attest to that. You for sure do. Yeah. I ate it right before starting the show. Mm -hmm. Do you ever hear me complaining to myself? <laughs> do you think when I'm in line at Chipotle, I'm talking to myself and I'm like, oh, I had uh, Chipotle yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Cole, but you just had Chipotle yesterday. Oh, how can you eat it again today? Yeah. I'm going to eat it again today because it's relatively affordable. I hit my nutritional macros and I'm collecting points for free future meals. Okay? That's why I'm having it. Also, I don't want to cook sometimes. So I'm going to have it Every day of the week, if I have to. And you never hear me complaining to myself. You never have any, you hear me having schizophrenic to... internal conversations <laughs> in my head about having Chipotle too much. Yeah, in fact, I'm excited about it. I'm excited to go you back there. You can't wait to go every tomorrow. Day. Right. Yeah. Right. Someone would call me addicted. Yeah. Some would say you're I have there, a problem. You're there more than the people that work there. Right. I like if the manager's like, I'm not going to make it today, this morning to work, and you'll be like, I'll open the Yeah, store. I got this. Yeah. yeah. I'll yeah. be there at 10 yeah, a.m. Yeah. anyway, so yeah, I might as well You gave me punch a key because I'm here all the time. Right. So just I'll, I'll open up. Right. Yeah. I know how everything works anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So don't ever fucking complain about our restaurant suggestions mm -hmm. when you don't have a suggestion of your own. Yeah. Come up with your own shit. When you, when you pass on the opportunity to pick place, pick a place, you, you concede, you concede your right to have any sort of opinion on what I pick. Because mm. I gave you first dibs, and you, you, if you pass the ball back to me, I'm taking the shot. Yeah, guess what? We're going to fucking McDonald's drive through That's right. That's where we're going. And you're going to get a mixed salad. Yeah, I'm not listening to what you're saying while I'm talking into the, the, the microphone thing. Right. You know? She's going to be, uh, like, tapping your shoulder. Oh, I, I want a McFlurry. Or whatever. Shut the With fuck up. With all that sugar? I don't think so, bitch. I don't so, think bitch. so. Yeah. Yeah. I'm summer's gonna, co summer's I'm, coming up. Yeah. I'm going to get a McFlurry. I will give you one bite. Right. 
and, and it'll be I'll the and it'll be and, the last yeah, one. Yeah, and I'll complain about how big of a bite you're taking. Right, and it'll like, be the last one, so you can't take it early on yeah. and be like, "Oh, I want more." Yeah. Oh, there weren't enough Oreo pieces in that one. Mm -hmm. Too bad. Yeah. So you know, these are the tough. Yeah, the, we we issues we're willing we to make to tough with. decisions. Yeah, and that's what this podcast is about. That's tough right. decisions, like right. where to go eat. We're going right. to Chipotle. What type of fast food or fast yeah. casual we're yeah. going to go to yeah. for lunch? And it's definitely going to be fast casual, right? Because that's also what this relationship is. Right, it's fast casual. <laughs> <laughs> we're drive through. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Very fast and very, very casual. casual. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> that's what this relationship is. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, so, I'm looking for something serious. I want a more sit down, yeah. fancy experience. Yeah, well, you're think, not going to yeah. find it here, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. We are yelling into yeah. a clown's mouth and then yeah. we're picking up like shakes and French fries. Yeah. The best. And I mean, mm -hmm. best you're going to be, get our, yeah, a, is a, like chilies. Yeah. A person. Maybe is, TGI yeah. Fridays. Yeah. Or Applebee's. a convicted felon is going to hand us a, a bag at the end of a window and then we are going to go home. Yes. And, and enjoy this. Or this. maybe if if you've been on good behavior, mm -hmm. we will get the two for 20 at Applebee's. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I will have most of it. Mm -hmm. And I will pick both of the items. Yes. I'll be like, I'm going to get this. You're going to get this. Yeah, I'll be one of those guys, too, that like orders for her. Right. You know? Um, I'm going to get this and then she's going to have this other thing. And then she might interject and she'll be like, I don't want that. And you're like, no, she knows, she doesn't know what she wants. Right. Actually. Yeah. I, I know what she wants. <laughs> don't listen to her. Right. You know? And then the server's kind of confused and like, not sure if yeah, like, then, we're, uh, like we're fucking she's just with like, him or. Yeah. Then the server's sitting there while a fight is happening between us. Right. She's like, you always do that. And I'm like, I always do what? Right. You, you know, like, oh, you're going to leave? I drove us here. What yeah. are you going to do? Buy your Uber? I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, keep walking. Oh, you're going to walk oh, out you're the gonna door? you're going to walk out. Keep walking. Yeah. It's I, a long walk home, bitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a long walk home. Yeah. It, Applebee's' slogan is that they're like the neighborhood bar. We, it's, <laughs> we're not in our neighborhood. <laughs> All right? I don't live near this piece of shit. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's far from our gated community. Yeah. So Yeah, we had to drive into a weird place to get to this piece of shit, yeah. Applebee's. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're a woman out there and you know that sounds fun to you and you wanna Yeah. <laughs> you wanna, yeah. 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 <laughs> Women love this podcast so much. <laughs> Chicks love this if pod. If you want to grab a two for twenty with us at at the bees, I actually went to uh, Applebee's recently and they have like they have two for twenty, or there's like different modifications to that. It's like you can do two for two, two for twenty five, or two for thirty with like the mm. fancier entrees, yeah, yeah, like the steaks or like the yeah the fancy uh, like the salmon or something, shrimp and shrimp, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, nice shrimp scampi, yeah, nice, yeah, yeah, that is fancy. Yeah, so like if it takes we're, longer to cook in the microwave, there, right? So. so if we're celebrating a really special occasion. I yeah. might splurge for a two for 30. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will have yeah. both entrees and one of the salads, and all you will have is just your salad. Yeah. And it is a but, side salad that's served in a very tiny, yeah. pathetic thing. Right. But yeah. I crushed a workout today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did the, Same. have you ever heard of the Memorial Day Murph workout? No. Murph? Yeah. What is it's that? It's like in honor of... Like M-U-R-P-H? Yes. And going back to the whole military thing, it is in honor of like a fallen U.S. soldier or whatever who like died in Afga Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. So I don't like that they, aspect well, of they it. They were not LGBT or trans? Correct. It okay. was a presumably a straight white man. Oh, man. So that's, that's the military, military we don't like. But the workout mm -hmm. is one mile run, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats, and then another mile Air run. Squats. It's just, just like, like body squat, body, body okay. squats. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and then you you split up the reps how you want, but you have to hit 100, 200, 300, and then another mile run. It, and what, how long of it? It took like me a, 47 minutes and 47 seconds. To do one mile? Mm -hmm. uh, All that stuff. 200 squats? 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 squats. Wow. And another mile run at the end. Wow, that's so you did all that in 47 minutes. Yeah, just wow. so yeah. So 
I got a big appetite and we're hitting the two for 30. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's a special occasion. We're hitting the two for 30. I will have both entrees. Mm-hmm. I will have one of the salads mm-hmm. and you will have one salad. Yeah. Maybe all of it. And this is an Applebee's that re- we frequent. And a right. lot of times the, the, they kind of know like the people that go to the, the, the servers at the Applebee's, they know how it's going to be. Yeah. Like they know like, okay, it is, the dinner is going to start with two people. It's going to end with just with you. Just, yeah. Yeah. Right. Just, like, yeah. It's like, I know that like, cause if at first the, the waiter used to come up and they'd be like, where'd your date go? And now they know, just don't even bring it up. Right. It's like she, look, she wants to walk it off. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Or the nightmare situation. You ever have this happen? Go into a place with a date one week, go back the next weekend with a different date because mm-hmm. like that's your spot yeah, yeah and then you have the same bartender or server and be like oh weren't you just here oh and man. then i have to be like no no no, yeah I've no never, i know yeah, i've I, never been here you? before yeah. it's like oh that's that's weird i could have sworn i took your orders last week nope wasn't me yeah <laughs> wasn't me yeah that, you ever had yeah. that happen yeah. Oof, that's a rough one yeah that is yeah that is yeah. tough yeah. yeah yeah that's that's wild yeah, yeah. so that's, that's why, like, you got to go to a different place. A different place, place yeah, yeah. yeah. But I have, like, my spots. But, yeah, that is annoying when a girl's like, oh, do you take all the girls here? And it's like, yeah, I like this place. Right. This is a good Applebee's. Right. Yes, I take l- literally every single yeah. one to this Olive Garden. Yeah, and it's like, you see, because women, see, women want this thing where they, like, they, they, they want to think that they're special. Right. But really what's special is Applebee's. Right. Okay? Applebee's is special to me. Yeah. And you special are special because I will take you to my thing that I go to. That is to special to me. Yeah. yeah. So when when you're invited to Chipotle with me, that's like a big deal. Right. Like that means like I'm I'm taking you like it's almost like you're meeting my family. Right. Right. It's like I mean, when I take you to Olive Garden, I mean you are you are when, family. You are family. Because yeah, when you're there, you're family. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So when you're I like get, when I Italian get those or unlimited breadsticks for you Mm -hmm. like that's my family yeah so like don't act weird when the server is like oh you're bat you're here Mm -hmm. two nights in a row yeah i'm just like shut the fuck up it's yeah yeah. like i was not that was the extended family don't worry about that right that's it's a big family it's a big another member of the family it's a big tent Mm -hmm. here yeah you know we we take in a lot of people Mm -hmm. that's like that's part of what being an empath is like us yeah you have to like yeah, you have to take care of You have a to bunch take of care people. of everyone. You have to heal everyone. Mm-hmm. So like, how am I supposed and like the things, the wonders I do for women out there? Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, having this podcast where the voice for all women, yeah. but on the more micro level when we're like dating and having relationships with women, it's like what a disservice it would be for me to only date one woman. That would and be and only yeah. have one woman That's at selfish. a time. That's it's selfish. selfish and to, it's also selfish for women cuz it's like, I'm sorry, you don't want you want you want you don't want women to succeed. You just want you to succeed. Right. That's very capitalist of you. Right. You're like, oh, like, oh, Cole, I I love you so much. You're the mm-hmm. best thing that ever happened to me. <clears throat> like other other women are like so unlucky that they haven't been with you yet. Well, we well, can change that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it is it is capitalist of you to hoard me mm-hmm. or to hoard you. I mean, yeah, no homo, I but know. like yeah, yeah. I know you're like a yeah. great guy for like Thank women. You. Yeah. Well, I mean, I wouldn't know, but like yeah. I've but never imagined like we dating know we're good you, guys. But, that's right. why we're that's why we started this podcast because right. we're the two best guys. Right. So we have to spread the wealth mm-hmm. and the healing powers of ourselves we are, to as yeah. many women as possible. Mm-hmm. And once they find out that we're polyamorous we will tell them Mm -hmm. or once they find out that yeah once they find us in their bed with another woman we Mm -hmm. will tell them that we are polyamorous Mm -hmm. and free sexual yeah and we were just fulfilling our mission to spread our love and healing powers to as many to as many women as as humanly possible until it becomes like a problem and like our dick falls off yeah 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 and that's just us spreading the wealth and yeah. how how good would that be like because it's like toxic masculinity is over right i mean i don't want my penis to fall no off, I've, i was being yeah. hyperbolic yeah but, yeah sure yeah. yeah exactly yeah but i mean that's just how much we care and how much we want to help yeah um we are very socialist we're about spreading the wealth mm-hmm. um you know it would be like how cool would it be to live in a commune 
with just a bunch of other women that were helping out. And we're the only guys. Yeah. 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 Be pretty sick. Be pretty sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. If you're a woman out there who wants to maybe start that. (laughs) Yeah. Hit us up, <coughs> hit yeah. us up in our DMs, and let's start that. Uh, mm-hmm. Some would call it like a cult situation. Yeah, but, yeah. or you, know, you can call yeah. it whatever you want. But yeah, the, yeah I mean, the we're goal just trying to help. Same. Yeah, yeah, and we're just trying to help you, and you know, and we we especially like those women that are like really vulnerable, and you know, like maybe have, just got out of a yeah, relationship. You're, yeah, just full rebound. Right. You know. We are, you were dating a guy for four years, mm-hmm. and, and it he said, ended horribly. He said, "Yeah, yeah, he you won. have no faith in men, right? And you are like, yeah, like you you just finished putting like making your Tinder profile, and it says nothing serious on your profile, mm-hmm. and you're like just got out of a relationship. Pretty, I'm still pretty broken over it. Yeah, looking for we a are, hot girl. We summer. are super liking that. Oh you know? yeah. Oh, you just got out of a relationship. How many minutes ago was it? Right." Let's How, fucking are go. Are you crying right now? Yeah. Please cry on my shoulder here. Right. And I'll pat the back of your head. Yeah. And then I will push your head into my lap. And right. You can with cry, con- you can cry into consent. my lap. Yeah. 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 And with- I'll, maybe I'll kind of pull your hair a little bit. Yeah. You know, if she, if she's a, into Yeah. That, I mean, yeah. in a comfortable, cool way. Right. You know? So we're just here to help. And that's, that's what we want to do. We want to help as many women as possible. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're a woman in need of help, Hit us up in our DMs and let us help. Help us help you. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Speaking of strong women, badass women, girl bosses, The Little Mermaid came out this Hell weekend. Yeah. Yeah. We talked about. I gotta say, We talked about it before. I guess that was just the preview of the movie right, coming out. Where right. Everybody. Was, a lot of people were mad, but so many people were so stoked to see. A uh, you know black lady play the role of a fake fish, you know. Yes. And that was like groundbreaking, I guess. It's like a big deal to just change the race of a person in a movie and just make it a new movie. Right. You know, and that's cool. Right. We love that. Yeah. So, but now the movie's out, and I'm sure it's great. Yeah. You know, it's definitely one of the best movies I've ever seen. And you you have seen it? No. Okay. Yeah. Same. Yeah. 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 But but that's what but we, that, I, we just I know say that. that. Yeah. But because it's like you saw the Little Mermaid. Yeah. Right. The I did, first the cartoon. Yeah. The cartoon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. And I like that. Yeah. I'm sure it's exactly the same. Yeah. Right. And yeah. I know the plot. Right. So it's like I can I can have a conversation about the new one just from watching the old one exactly. when I was like nine. Right. Yeah. So when people are like, "Did you see it?" I go, "Yeah, I saw the Little Mermaid." Right. And Which is not, it's a, not lie. a lie. No, yeah. it's not a lie because I did see the Little Mermaid. Right, right. And they'll be like, "You saw the one that just came out," and I'll be like, "What? Why are you saying it like that? <laughs> why are you asking me? Like, what? What? Why do you say it like that?" Right. I just told you I saw the Little Mermaid, so shut the fuck up. Yeah. Okay. It's yeah. good. It's a good movie. Damn it. Yes. So there was. There's been a lot of reaction to it. Ba- basically, if you didn't think it was good, you're racist. Okay, because the the uh, Little the Mermaid movies. is black, mm. right? We love yeah. that. Yeah, if you don't like the movie because they just did a, like, clearly for attention, like, race swap of a character, like, it to be, like, I mean, it's the same thing as, like, the, the Bud Light thing and the, you know, Miller Light stuff. They make, like, an inflammatory thing and then, like, gaslight you into, you know what I mean? Like, into hating it. Right. So it's, like... Hating it is like a trap. They're like setting a trap. They're like, I dare you to fucking hate this. Mm-hmm. Right? And you're like, I hate that. And you're like, you hate it? Is that, <laughs> why do you hate it? It's because you're racist? Yeah. Is that what? Yes. Oh, you hate that the character's black? Yes. Okay. Now, you don't want to think that if they did that the other way where they made like Wakanda like a white guy. Right. No one would flip out at that. Yeah. Right. Do you think anybody would, would there be any backlash if they had a, a white guy play Wakanda forever? Well, I can think of a guy who should play, or maybe two guys who could, Mm -hmm. who could maybe be the new black Panther after Chadwick Boseman. I think I, I think I know what you're, I think I know what you're laying down right here. You ain't black. Well, yeah, we're not black, But but that would be the, that's the whole, 
that's the gimmick of us playing the right, role. Right, right. You know? Yeah. Us, by the way. Yeah. If, you, if you didn't pick up what we were mm -hmm. putting down. If you didn't pick up what we're putting down. I mean, I'm in, I'm in, movie, I'm in movie star shape right now. Mm -hmm. That Murph I hit this morning, oh, my God. You should, have, oh, you should have seen, like, no, I mean, it's not really no homo if I'm, like, admiring myself in the mm -hmm. mirror. Yeah. It's a little gay because it is like a man that I'm yeah. admiring, yeah, yeah. but it is myself, yeah. and like you can't be that's gay just, with like uh, yourself. That's just a good mental health. Yeah, or some would call it narcissism. Yeah, but well, but that's like the most mental health you can have. Right, right. We can only hope to achieve full narcissism. True. Because that's loving it's, yourself yeah, to a degree. Self -love. Yeah, yeah. it's called self-love. Yeah, heard of it? Yeah, it's self-love to a degree self -love that's toxic and self -care. for other people. Right. And it's like, I'm sorry, you don't love yourself enough to... To ruin other people's lives. That's right. To, to benefit only yourself. Yeah. And if you have haters, you must be doing something right. We yeah. know that. Yeah. Exactly. So, and sure, everyone hates me except you. Mm -hmm. So I must be doing something and right. And that's what you think. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. But yeah so, y yeah, you just got to have, you got to, you know, you have to be this way. Right. So we so, love that. So back to the Little Mermaid, there was there's even some criticism on the left too of it on from our side. What was the left criticism? So the New York Times is taking heat online after published a review of the new live action The Little Mermaid that complained kink was missing from the film. And this is a quote from their movie kink? critic Wesley Morris. Kink is missing the from new, the children's movie yeah, so Little Mermaid. The new live action Little Mermaid is is everything nobody should want in a movie. Dutiful and defensive, yet desperate for approval, movie critic Wesley Morris wrote in a review for The Times. It reeks of obligation, noble intentions, joy, fun, mystery, risk, flavor, kink. Mm -hmm. They're missing, he wrote. The reference to kink, which sometimes means a person's unusual sexual preference, especially in a pop culture context, drew attention online. Little Mermaid has a PG rating and is being marketed to children and families. The debate over the intention of the word kink in the New York Times movie review has divided filmgoers online, with many asking why the word needed to be included at all. So, so, so this guy is saying there's not, there's no fucking right in this movie. There's not enough like weird mermaid sex, yeah, yeah. in it. Yeah, there's how do mermaids fuck? Right, L show us that. Right, we need to see that. Right, and also like, okay, like. I, you know what, now that I'm thinking about this, this is a really opened my mind on to, cause I, you know, I was kind of cloud, my head was clouded by like, yes, a black queen being the star of the show and pissing off people Yeah, that, that made me happy. But then it's like this, this guy's making a good point. There's no fuck scenes in that movie. That's a good, that's a really good point for the children's movie. Right. Mm -hmm. That's, that's a good point to make out. Right. There's no weird sex or whips and chains bdsm scenes in this little mermaid right. children's movie right that's a good point to make right yeah now what if okay they made one black character why didn't they make them all black why not make this a tyler perry movie right, right? well i like why can't medea be uh playing like four characters mm -hmm. right like ursula as medea how sweet would that yeah. be just a a sassy, yeah. fat black queen. Like I'm gonna take your voice, but I'm gonna shoot that motherfucking boat captain if he don't give you that that dick. You know, right? Like in that big Medea like moo yeah. moo that she wears. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, and then she like swims up to the shore, like during that song, like kiss the girl. Ursula is like, you better make out, motherfucker. <laughs> kiss that bitch. Kiss her on her pussy. Wow. Yeah. How good would that movie be? Yeah. That'd be great. So we need that. That would be good. Yeah. Making, uh, yeah, all the characters black, that would be tight. What else could they do? More gay sex scenes. Right. BDSM, queer, uh, kink stuff. Cool. Yeah. Love that. Right. What else could they do? Yeah, more more black characters, more gay characters. Um, maybe... Yeah, like a trans character or mm -hmm. characters. Yeah. Well, okay, so there was another thing I saw about Little Mermaid. There were people that were mad at the makeup artist who did the makeup for Ursula. Oh, yes. They were saying that that was inspired by drag queens. Okay. And that's bad. You know, I love 
I love the state of our culture. Yeah, how good is that? That we can have where, an, an like a where that can be a problem. Like we're in a we're That's in, how shitty America yeah. is. Mm -hmm. That like the makeup of mm -hmm. Ursula. Yeah. In the Little Mermaid remake movie. Yeah. Is someone's biggest problem yeah, today. But, but that, that's how you know mm -hmm. that America is a shitty fucked up country because no. that is a serious problem. Mm -hmm. And the fact that that is not just one person's problem, but but uh, thousands yeah. of, of people are complaining about that. That is a good sign for our country and culture. Yeah, and culture. Society. It's really good. Yeah. But OK, think about all the problems we're not worried about. Right. right. World War Three, Ukraine. Right. Russia. All that. Who rampant cares? homelessness, Ra yeah, rampant drug addiction, homelessness. yeah, all these things, non-issues, right, right. The lady that painted her face in the fake fish movie is in like kind of drag makeup, yeah, and she's like a bad character, so that's bad, yeah. And th maybe we should have a discussion about yeah. that. <laughs> that's, I hope you know what that that is a day ruiner, right? We, there. you know what we have too, and we have. Uh, political election coming up mm -hmm. in the next year mm -hmm. and we got to decide a president and I would like to see that topic come up in, in the debates. debates. Yeah. 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 Like, Hey, um, Donald Trump, Ron DeSantis, or, uh, you know, Joe Biden, what do you think about the new little mermaid movie? And just let them, mm -hmm. you have 45 minutes to speak on the little mermaid. Well, I thought it was very bad that they replaced the beautiful Ariel. We love Ariel, right? A lot of people are talking about Ariel. And they replaced her with a African-American actress. It's a shame, really. So sad. Sad. Okay? It's unacceptable. And Disney, we are pulling funding from Disney. That yeah. I can tell you. That's yeah. probably what Trump he would, would say He would probably say it. something yeah. like that, yeah. Yeah. And then uh, I'm sure Biden would do that thing where he'd be like, "I was at the pool and corn pop was a oh, I mean that would black kids right. were touching black my kids legs, were, right? Remember that when yeah, he did that? So you got hairy legs. I had hairy legs, and come on, man, people were I, I almost fought a black guy at a pool once, and then uh, people were touching my legs, and they were kids. Don't worry about it. And uh, my you know my team's doing this thing. They're saying, "Shut up, quit saying stuff," and right. I'm like, "Whatever, dude." Yeah, and then they would just be like, "Your time's up, Joe. Like, please stop talking." Yeah, that would be a great, great debate. Great debate mm -hmm. between Trump and Biden on Little Mermaid. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to that. Yeah, we would love to see that. Yeah, but yeah, I hope that this. Um, you know, we keep talking about this makeup artist thing. Yeah, no I, one is safe. I right. I hope yeah, they I cancel mean, her and they they mm -hmm. take extreme punitive action on yeah. anyone involved. Yeah, because I mean. Did, did we talk about this yet where it's like Bud Light first was canceled by the right. Then for, was canceled by the left. Yeah. So now like no one can drink Bud Light, right. I guess. Like right. someone will kill you if you drink a Bud Light and it might be both from both ends. Right. Like you might be shot by an AR-15, but you also might get hit by a wig from a like a cross A drag queen. Yeah. So you don't know what's going to happen. Right. So... But whatever you do, people are going to be pissed about it. That's right. Yeah. And, that's and then you saying you're sorry you pissed anybody off is going to piss off the other people that are like, you should have unapologetically dunked on that side. And then they'll try to cancel you also. Right. So, but this is a podcast for everybody. That's what this podcast yes. is for. Especially Except if you're women. a, yeah, if, ex, unless you're a dumb right wing hick yeah. Republican loser, then, then. Fuck you. Yeah, bitch. but we're very open minded yeah, and we support everyone mm -hmm. of all yeah. races, religions, mm -hmm. genders, yeah. and political beliefs if they're the exact ones that we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if they're not, if you step out of line in a single issue, fuck you. Yeah, we don't want you listening. Yeah, I love that. I yeah. actually just I drove by a restaurant the other day that had one of those like rainbow signs that says we serve we serve everyone. Every, wow. We, I mean, what a stance how, to take. How awesome is that? Yeah. How like I go in there and I go, "Man, that's so cool that in 2023 right. you can go into a restaurant and order food." That's right. As a whatever you are. 60 no years one's, 60 years after the that law was passed mm -hmm. that said you couldn't turn anyone away 
from your business for those reasons. Yeah. How brave is it that 60 to, years to later a restaurant law. would abide that a restaurant would abide by a 60 year old law? Yeah. How cool is that? It is really. What, it, it's a it's a refreshing sign. Yeah. Every time I see one of those signs, it fills me with so much joy, yeah. joy, and, and love. it makes me want to go to that restaurant. Right. You know, and I go, thank God you aren't kicking and not people throw out a with wheelchairs. grenade into yeah. the restaurant. Yeah, 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 definitely. Right. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. So uh, here's speaking of girl bosses in Hollywood, Angelina Jolie is reportedly very lonely since divorcing Brad Pitt. Oh, nice. Yeah. 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 Sounds I, like I she like, needs. I like where this like is going she, already. Yeah. Sounds like the boys are just outside that double dutch. Yeah. Situation of Angelina Jolie's. The bat House signal right. has been has been mm -hmm. shown into the she's sky. She's like, I need dick. Yeah. And she's like got her flashlight to the air mm -hmm. and it's a big, you know, woke penis or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And we're we're yeah. That's that'd be right. cool. That'd be cool if uh, that'd be our like our. What bat would be symbol. our bat? Our symbol. bat symbol would be that it would be a penis, but it would be like flaccid, and then like when you turn it on, it's like flaccid, and then it goes like that, like it becomes a. Boner. It becomes erect. Yeah. Okay. How cool would that be? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It like it, cool. it. Like it. We give that to like lonely women who are in a breakup. Like I show up in a mask, like bat costume, and I'm like, "Hey, you need this." And then the girl's like, oh, what the fuck? How do you know where I live? And then I just broke up with my boyfriend. I'm like, shut up, bitch. Just take this. And then, you know, they're like, why are you dressed like a bat? I'm like, don't worry about it. And then I get into my car. That's just my car. It's not a bat yeah. car or anything it's like that. It's your minivan. I just yeah. wrote Batmobile in, like, window chalk on the right. windows. And then I, you know, fucking tires squeal. I'm fucking peeling out. Yeah. And then she, like, it's like a mag light flashlight with, like, a little filter over it. And then she, like, flashes it up in the air. And it's like the penis that, like, goes up and down. Yeah. I'm like, just flash that if you need penis. Right. Yeah. Right. And just best time to do it, 2 a.m. on a Saturday. Yeah, we'll be looking at the yeah, sky. Yeah, that's when I'm really looking at the sky. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I go out my window and I'm just like, I can't wait to help a woman. Yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. So, so yeah, so this article about Angelina Jolie from Yahoo, it says, uh, Brad Pitt may be moving on with 30-year-old new girlfriend Ines de Ramon. But Angelina Jolie isn't finding it easy to put their divorce behind her. According to Radar Online, the 47-year-old Oscar winner is still traumatized by her divorce from the 59-year-old Once Upon a Time in Hollywood actor almost seven years after she filed for divorce and doesn't actually have many people to talk to. We feel so bad. Angie has kept to herself more than ever, source spilled to Radar Online, although the Maleficent actress attended a White House state dinner with her 21-year-old son Maddox earlier this month and looked impeccable in an ivory Chanel dress, may we add. The inside, we, lo we love this style of article, by the way, with like all the, um, all the editorializing uh, in there, like every sentence. But anyway, uh, the insider revealed that she tried to keep public appearances to a minimum, saying it's been a while since she's been in front of so many cameras. She doesn't get out much. Now, there's another source said that Angelina's life has been like this for a while, saying she's cut off people she's worked with for years and no longer speaks to any family other than her kids. She has almost no one else left. Her life is very lonely. Another insider said that the mom of six briefly reconnected with her father, John Voigt, 84, after the divorce in 2016, but the two are no longer in contact. She's also no longer speaking to her brother, James Haven, 50, who the source says was her touchstone for many years. This is like Angelina J Jolie's like Walt at the end of Breaking Bad situation where she's right. just like, I have nothing left. Right. Like what, what is the. Yeah. So it keeps going on and on, but I think like we get bummed, the. She's bummed yeah, out. I think we get the point here is that she is lonely. Mm -hmm. She is traumatized to use mm -hmm. her words. Yeah. She is vulnerable. Yeah. And she needs us. Nice. To swoop in. Yeah. And just. Pick her back up yeah. mm -hmm. from the dark place that she's in. Yeah. And, you know, she wants to go on the red carpet and mm -hmm. just take us along. Yeah. We'll be there. Uh, She'll picture. be in her Chanel dress and we'll be wearing this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Wore those guys we're, we're, yeah, like we're wearing a suit, but it's like you can see the future's female <laughs> right. t shirt under it. Right. And it's like, it's summer in Hollywood. Why are you wearing scarves and beanies? Right. Like, don't worry about it. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Angelina, we know you're listening right now because you're. You're vulnerable, and you're, I guess is she not acting anymore? Um, I don't know. I yeah. mean, maybe that. See, that's what Hollywood does. They throw out these women, yep. at, you know, and it's just like, right when they think they're not like 
they're they can't sexualize them anymore. They yeah. just toss them right out. Yeah. And and let me let me tell you something about Angelina Jolie. If you're out there and you're seeing this, I will personally sexualize you. Same here. Yeah. I mean, that's how that's how good a guys we are. Right. Like Hollywood wants to throw you out and say no one wants to fuck you anymore and you know what we say to that? We'll do it. Wow. Yeah. We that will, is beautiful. We will personally take her to Paris. Yeah. That in fact, we'll cast her in a movie called Angelina Jolie goes to Paris. Yeah. How how and in that movie will be about 10 minutes long. Right. Yeah. Tops. Yeah. If you Max, include about absolute nine Max. minutes of yeah. of build up, <laughs> yeah, and and, and yeah. exposition, yeah, and it, the the build up and ex, exposition will probably be about a minute or two, yeah. It'll be like, yo, this is Angelina Jolie, and then she'll will like put the camera over to her and she'll be like, and then be like, all right, let's let's take you to Paris, yeah, right. yeah. She's like, well, where are the plane tickets? We don't need a plane ticket where you're going. Right. You know, to the Paris we're taking you to. Right. Yeah. And then she'll get on my couch, you know, and then we'll get on both ends of her. Yeah. And then Paris will be reached. Right. And then we will high five at the top. Right. And she's into all this. Yeah. Yeah. Of she, course. She, yeah. She, she signed all it. the documents that right. we, you know, all the proper. She read the script. Yeah. Yeah. yeah for sure. Dude, there's no words in it. So. Right. I mean, she just goes, hi, I'm Angelina Jolie, and right. I fully consent to all of what's about to happen. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's it. And then, you know, then we make the movie. Nice. And then she gets to, then then we'll try to encourage her to make an article about how pumped she is about her new movie, and then we'll make a publicity, you know, like, we'll t we'll call call the paparazzi, tell the paparazzi, hey, um, Angelina Jolie is going to make an appearance at Applebee's with the two woke boys. She's going to get a two for 30 and mm -hmm. uh, she's only going to have a salad. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, but she'll be there with us, you know, mm -hmm. and we'll be taking pictures and she'll say stuff about how cool we are and how much she likes Applebee's. That's right. And that it was her choice to go there. Totally. Cause she said, we said, where do you want to go? And then she said, I don't know. And then we're like, all right, well now you don't yeah. get to decide. Right. And now we're going to Applebee's. Yeah. You're, 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 opportunity to make a choice is over bitch yeah we're going to the beast yeah yeah and you will like it yeah mm -hmm. yeah so yeah hit us up in our dms angelina we're sorry to hear about this <laughs> tough time you've been having but it ends with us mm -hmm. so speaking of other girl bosses billy eilish hits back at criticism over her more feminine fashion choices Billie Eilish is taking on critics who apparently have an issue with how her style has evolved over the years. 21-year-old... Was, was she ever not being... I mean, she was always a girl, right? Right. No, so she apparently... So the whole thing is she... So so she has this quote here. 21-year-old Grammy Award winner posted a series of photos in her Instagram stories over the weekend and wrote, I spent the first five years of my career getting absolutely obliterated by you fools for being boyish and dressing how I did and constantly being told I'd be hotter if I acted like a woman. Now when I feel comfortable enough to wear anything remotely feminine or fitting, I change and I'm a sellout. The caption over a photo of herself continued, and it's what happened to her. OMG, it's not the same Billy. She's just like the rest, blah, blah, blah. B Eilish went on to call out the true idiots and bozos. Let women, let women exist, she added. Eilish followed up with more postings. Fun fact, did you know that women are, uh, that women, sick, are S-I-C, What's are, that? What is that? Well, it's like when when someone like misspells something in a quote, then like the writer will put in sick What's to show mean? to show that like that it they're a dumbass, not them. Correct. Yeah. yeah. And that's I'm quoting her for being a dipshit. Right. And just so you know, I'm not the dipshit that made the typo. I'm just relaying you to you that she is a dipshit and right. made a typo. That yeah, the whole the whole to usage, kind of make her look worse. The whole usage of sick is like what this podcast is all about. Yeah. It kind of sums up our entire thing. Yeah. Our podcast is probably should have a sick in right. parentheses around Yeah. Our the podcast title. is just one big sick and it also is the sickest podcast. It is a sick podcast. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. So so fun fact, did you know that women, singular women, are multifaceted? Shocking, right? Believe it or not, women can be interested in multiple things. Also, that femininity does not equal weakness. OMG, insane, right? 
Who knew, she added, and also totally unheard of and insane to want to express yourself differently at different times. So we love this like meltdown that Billie yeah, like Eilish is depressive episode right, that she's having right and very publicly yeah and she, i mean looks pretty damn vulnerable to me mm -hmm. she has this identity crisis yeah. she doesn't know should i wear this she's like i can't be feminine i'm like you can be real feminine oh, with yeah. us right we'll let you yeah in fact you, you don't wear, even have to wear anything you, that's when exactly what here. i was gonna yeah. say you can wear really form-fitting clothes or you can wear no clothes at all right because i like your form right and oh that's cool. You got that green streak in your hair. Whatever. Yeah, the weird Pull shit. That too yeah, if you want. But, yeah, but yeah. We love the body positivity you have, and in your in your chest area, mm -hmm. and in your ass area. Yeah, we love that. Yeah, and mm -hmm. and we're not gonna complain. So no. you can wear you can wear whatever you want. Yeah, you over can at wear our studio. boyfriend jeans, like, but like I'm gonna try and get those back from you. Right, because like you, c you can't keep taking my stuff. Yeah, man. don't even don't take my hoodie. Bitch. Yeah, you are not gonna take our fucking yeah. clothes. We will not fall yeah. for that I shit will, again. I will. I will. Like, if a girl's like, "Can I borrow your sweater?" I'm like, "Yeah," and I give her my sweater. Then now, now I have an excuse to go over to her place to get it back. Right, and also there is an Apple AirTag in the pocket, so right. now I know exactly where to go get it from, and I'm gonna get it back. That's right. There's gonna be a mission of me getting it back. So like next time we hang out, I'm gonna go over to your place. And then, you know, I'm bringing a little overnight duffel bag and I'm going to go in your closet, take my sweatshirt back. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll take a couple other things too. You know, yeah. And then she let, calls the police you know and it's like, what, you're going to, you're going to OJ me? What mm -hmm. am I going to get arrested for stealing my own stuff yeah. back? It's my stuff. Yeah. How is it against the law to steal my own stuff? It's my own merch and memorabilia. Yeah. It's my stuff, this bitch. This is me. Yeah. Yeah. These are my trophies. Right. Yeah. And then yeah. we have to spend seven years in jail until your mm -hmm. father comes into the picture and his lawyers and mm -hmm. he's very well connected. And then we get on Twitter and then we don't address any of the right. insanity and just that we carry we've done. on our Yo, lives. Yo, what up, Twitter world? Hey, Twitter world, it's hey. yours truly. Yeah, just on the golf course. Today. I'm making a killing out here on the golf course. Yeah, you know, right? No irony in his post at all. Right, right. Yeah, we just start doing that. Yeah, that would be tight. <laughs> we love OJ. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, OJ is the king. Yeah. So another quick uh, last little celebrity who's insecure about her body. Megan Fox says she's never loved her body. Megan Fox may be a Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition cover model, but she says she still struggles with body image. I have body dysmorphia. I don't ever see myself really the way other people see me. <clears throat> There's never a point in my life where I love my body. Never, ever. When I was little, that was like an obsession I had, that I should look this way. And when I had an awareness of my body that young, I'm not sure the journey of loving myself is going to be never-ending, I think. She added that she wished people wouldn't notice her physical appearance first. I wish everyone noticed my aura, because I have a rainbow aura, and it's special, she said. <laughs> Fox appeared on a cover version of the 2023 Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition, along with Kim Petras, Martha Stewart, and Brooks Nader. The issue hits stands May 18th. So we just want to say, Megan, we agree that you have such like a rainbow aura. Or your whatever. aura is hot. Bullshit. The, 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 the glow spouting. around your whole body is yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, it's so cool, cool or whatever. It's, we yeah, love great. your aura. And that's why we're attracted mm -hmm. to you, not yeah. your body. We yeah. agree that your body could use a lot of work. Yeah. And we're just going to play into your insecurities. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make you feel insecure mm -hmm. and vulnerable about your body. But we'll say like, hey... Like, we don't know if you're hot. You're actually kind of ugly, but your aura is hot. Yeah. So, like, come over here, and then after we, like, look at your aura for a while, we'll be like, oh, actually, your body's, like, I, not bad. Yeah, I can't really see your aura with all that clothes on. Right. You know? Right. Maybe if you take your shirt off, I could really get a good look at your aura. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, hit us up, Megan, and we know you're still mad about MGK cheating on you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, he, he affected your aura negatively. That's right. We're here to give you good aura. That's right. Or whatever. We're all about good vibes. Yeah. Yeah. Good vibes only. Mm -hmm. That's what this, this podcast is all about. Yeah. It's a very positive podcast. Right. Yeah. yeah. Just ignore the previous yeah. hour of yeah. the show and where we were. The previous 147 episodes. Those two. Yeah. yeah. But it's uh nothing it's very, but positivity this here. is a well yeah this is a mental health podcast right and it's a it's a it's a uh one of those positivity like get up and grind guy podcasts right. also. <laughs> we're those, those yeah. guys yeah we're those guys too 
Yeah. We're just getting after it yeah. every day. Like you did your workout thing. Yeah. I got up early, mm -hmm. you know, however early you think you're supposed and to I get up. I jumped into a cold swimming pool. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even use hot water in my apartment. Yeah. That's how, that's how, that's how alpha. I yeah. Am. That's how go getter I am. Yeah. Yeah. Like they do that thing where they like make a video. They're like, you know how like something that sucks do that every day. They kind of do that. Right, like, right. I, I jump in. I fill my tub with ice cubes, and then I jump in it, and I sit until I feel like I'm about to die. Then I get out of it, and then I go get my day going. And I also do this at 4 a.m. when right. I wake up. Yeah. Because I wake up at 4 a.m. Right. Because you're asleep, but I'm awake, grinding. What are you doing? Sleeping? Pussy. I'm grinding. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're one of those podcasts. You get up and you have a warm shower. I have a cold shower. You're a pussy. So now I have an advantage over you because I know that you had a warm shower because you're a bitch. And then I had a very unenjoyable cold shower. So I win. So I'm constantly winning. Right. You woke up. You had coffee. I had alcohol. I'm drunk right now. Right? You're, you're, oh, you're jittery from coffee. I'm about to pass out because I'm... I've been up since 4 a.m. and I've I've been drinking since 6 a.m. Uh -huh. Yeah. In my Starbucks coffee cup, Irish coffee. But more Irish than coffee, if you know what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. It's just alcohol. There's yeah. no coffee in it. Yeah. Yeah. Rise and grind. That's right. So we are one of those podcasts. Yeah, we're too. those guys. Yeah. Are there any poems today? There are no poems today. Um, now, uh, if you do want to submit poems for Poetry Corner, we would love that. We would love to have your poems. Uh, we would love to hear your advice or well, not your advice. We, we're not taking, <laughs> whoa, well, whoa, yeah, yeah. whoa, whoa, but just to be clear, yeah. we don't need we your don't need bullshit your sh advice. Bullshit, yeah. lame and advice. Yeah. Yeah. Don't tell us don't how to tell us do how anything. to live our fucking life. Yeah. We will come at you hard yeah. against whatever. It is. Yeah. In fact, we'll not do whatever you tell us to do. Right. We will do the opposite of what yeah. you tell us. To Unless do. you tell us to do like something straight and then. Like to do the opposite would be something would be gay, gay yes, which we're is not, not gonna do what that. we're going to yeah, do. Yeah. But don't don't try to confuse us. Right. All right, that's bullshit. Yeah, yeah. So to we clarify, you ask us questions, we, and give, we will give you, you the advice because mm -hmm. you're dumb. Mm -hmm. We're smart. You're stupid. We're brilliant. Yeah. Where's your? You're podcast? a piece of shit. You don't have a podcast representing women and people of color. We do. So shut the fuck up and listen to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, yeah, so send us, uh, send us, uh, your requests for advice, send us poems, send us all those things, uh, two woke boys at gmail.com. Um, uh, continue to, uh, like, and subscribe and comment on our YouTube channel. We love that stuff. Um, follow our show on whatever pages you have YouTube, uh, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, whatever social media you have, follow us on there. And that helps. Um, write us reviews, five stars on iTunes and Spotify. Okay. Uh, donate to the slut fund on uh, Venmo cash app. That is helpful. We love you guys for doing that. And uh, yeah, share the pod with your friends. Uh, do you have uh, anything you would like to plug? I don't think so. Just yeah. Follow <laughs> ally of the show, Malcolm Kellner on Instagram. If you want to see any uh, stand up or anything like that, he's got some stuff coming up uh, from what I hear. Nice, nice. So follow him. Follow Ally of the Show, Malcolm Kellner, on all of his pages YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, right? Yeah. And um, yeah, we love that. Uh, and then also follow uh, Ally of the Show, Jeff Zinisek, on all his platforms. He will be in Des Moines, Iowa on the 16th and 17th of June. So uh, opening for J.P. Sears, come see that. Um, and then uh, also check out his page, uh, YouTube, t TikTok, and Instagram, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, so that being said, thank you for being a fan of the show. We love you guys, and uh, thanks for listening to episode 148 of The Two Woke Boys. I am Chris. I'm Cole. And together, we are two woke, woke boys. boys.